morning. So another day is upon us. We have two more of these before we get home. We'll drive a full day today. We'll drive a full day tomorrow. And then we'll have a couple of days at home. We'll be getting home on the weekend. So uh, I'll be able to enjoy some of my nice new internet that got installed the other day. Oh, I can't wait to try that out. Apparently it's just really fast. Like faster than they even made us think it was. So I'm really looking forward to uploading my first video with the new internet provider. We'll see how it does. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be nice. So we slept here at a scale. I know, all the drivers are like, why would you do that? I know, but it's one of those scales that had like a rest area attached to it. So it's a rest area and a scale. And I had to stop last night. So I pulled in here and figured, yeah, let's go to bed. Of course, knowing my luck, I wake up, scales open and they're all staring at me. Giving me that, you know, you better do your pre-trip look, right? We're watching you. Great, now I'm nervous. So don't worry, I made a big show of it. Took my big moose bumper down nice and slow while I was looking right at them. And I went and unlatched my hood, opened up my hood while I was looking straight at them. And then I would go around my truck, looking at this, looking at that, peek my head out. Look at them, are you watching? Go back in, check the oil. Check the tires, peek my head back out. I'm doing my pre-trip, you see? You watching? Go back in. <laughs> so uh, now, I have to get going with my day and I have to drive over the scale and past them. I wonder if they're gonna call me in to see if I did my pre-trip. And we're already at our first stop of the day. <laughs> the loves here. Uh, where are we exactly? I gotta mark down where we are. Where are we, Mandy? Located. Ina, Illinois. Oh, we're in Illinois, apparently. When did that happen? Okay, I-N-A, I'm not lying, look. Look at that, I-N-A, Illinois. Come on, focus, focus. Weird. So the day is just underway. I just stopped here to get some food. And you know what sort of bothers me? I mentioned this a couple of days ago, didn't I? The fact that all truck stops in the United States, for the most part, the popular ones, only have fast food. That's it. The most popular truck stops have the worst food for you, which I wish it would be opposite. I wish the most popular truck stops, you know, Pilot Flying J, uh, TA, Petro, Loves, I wish they'd all make a point of having healthy restaurants. I know the TA has a Country Pride restaurant. I really like that restaurant, actually. It's very nice. And you know, Flying J has Denny's. <laughs> but Love's, you're a little bit behind the eight ball in this one. You need some restaurants. McDonald's isn't a restaurant, but I had it anyways. I've had a lot of fast food on this trip, and I don't like that. Yeah, it's great food. Don't get me wrong, I love it. <laughs> I love the food, but I just wish I had another option. I guess I could make food in the truck here, but I gotta stop by a Walmart and stock up my food and whatnot. But. And you know, supporting the local economy. Even though these fast food chains probably doesn't support the local economy whatsoever. That's why if I do eat out, I like to eat it at like a local restaurant. That way it supports the economy right there. My friend Steven, I was just talking to him today. Uh, he's the guy, we were at his birthday party last time I was home and whatnot, and he's got all the guns. Uh, Stefan. Did I call him Steven? Stefan. Why did I say Stephen? I think I said Stephen. Stefan. Sorry, Stefan. Spelt the, almost the same way as Stephen Harper, except his name is Stefan. Stefan. 
fam. Anyways, uh, yeah, he, we were we were just talking before I stopped here, and we we're both saying like, man, it, it's it's sad that we can't get some decent restaurants out there, but what can you do? But it is always good, you know. Some people are against eating out, but Stefan was saying like it's actually good for the local economy if you go to a local restaurant and have your food there. Then it'll support the economy. But anyways, <laughs> a lot of blabbing over food. Let's go. So we're here around about central Illinois. Uh, landscape's gotten flat. I'm starting to feel more at home. Looking forward to it. Oh, am I looking forward to it? I haven't been home. I haven't even actually been on the prairies or in western Canada since the elections in Canada. That's how long I've been gone. It's, it's going to be 25 days. So, it's not the longest trip, I know, but it's going to feel really good to be back in western Canada. Around my people. In my house, on my land. Feel good. So I'm not too sure yet how far we're gonna go. We gotta go another six hours today yet. We've only driven about four. So I'm gonna try to get as far as I can tonight so that I have as little as possible to do tomorrow. It's been a long day and a long road. We're here uh Right around the Chicago region. Obviously not too near the city because you can still see, you know, the earth. You get closer to Chicago and pretty soon it just turns into an urban jungle. A cement and concrete jungle. Not very appealing. Like any city, but Chicago's a big city. Not as bad as New York or anything or like Tokyo, but you know what I mean. I still got another four hours to go today. Far, there's been nothing to report. Just flat, straight driving. A lot of agriculture out here in this part of Illinois. Again, very much like Manitoba, southern Manitoba. Not sure what the general sort of local culture would be here around here, what political culture it is in this part of the state. But assuming it's very much like southern Manitoba because the similar surroundings and geography. Look at this beautiful truck right here coming up beside me. Look at this thing. Very nice. Very small inside of there though. You can't fit much more than one person in there. But very nice nonetheless. Can you imagine living in that for weeks on end though? Especially with my two dogs. <laughs> nope, not gonna happen. Well, I finally went and renewed my satellite radio. <laughs> I've been driving for like three months with no radio, no nothing. So, oh, it's been great having my radio back. Oh man, you have no idea. So I just stopped at this little pilot here. Uh, it's just a little pilot in Illinois here. Uh, I had to edit the vlog. Now we gotta go in there, use the facilities, grab some fuel here, whatnot, and blah, 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 all the stuff. Here's a quick break. I haven't been vlogging much today because it's just been a straight drive. This day has actually flown by. I suddenly realized, oh my. I haven't been doing much vlogging. <laughs> this day is just flown by, but we still do have another like four hours of driving today yet, so it's just it's nighttime now, and it's hard to vlog at nighttime because it's nighttime. But we'll figure something out yet. We'll figure something out. I gotta go inside though. I really gotta go. You know what I mean? Mendota. Mendota, Illinois. That's where we are. See? Would I lie to you? If you don't believe me, there's a water tower right there. It says Mendota. See? Would I lie to you? All right, might as well get out of here. Got another at least four hours we can drive. It gets dark so early now already. It makes vlogging so much more rushed. You know, during the winter, I gotta rush and get the vlog done before the sun goes down, and it feels like I don't have as much time, you know? I feel like I miss out on a lot. Well, 
Oh, Mendota, that was very nice. Drive 1.7 kilometers. Then turn left on North 42nd Road. Or no, or I'm just going to keep following this road to the interstate. How about that? Is that okay? I'm going to stop at this stop sign. Is that okay, Mandy? Are you okay with that? Are you going to yell at me? I stop at stop signs because it's the cool thing to do. And then I spin my tire on the pavement because that's what it's telling me to do. It's the law. On guard. You see anything out there, Diesel? I thought I saw something move, man. It might have just been the leaves, but I thought I saw something move. I'll keep a good eye on it, man. Don't worry, man. I got this, man. I don't know what he saw. It's like super creepy. He's like staring out into the bush. Like he sees something. I've turned the lights on a couple of times just to see what's out there. Because I nosed into my spot here in the back, right? And there's just empty bush out there. And Diesel seems to think that there's something in there. Makes me nervous. I realized the vlog was really short today again. I honestly have no excuse. I have no idea what's up with that. The day flew by so fast. Like we drove a full day today and like over a thousand kilometers, over 620 miles. And it just went so quickly. It was just like snapped and it was done. So not much vlogging done today, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. Not every vlog can be 20 minutes long and packed full of excitement because not every day of my life is packed full of excitement. Some days are just like this, sort of like, meh. And that's not worth very much in some people's books, so it's okay, I understand. I'm just this guy on YouTube. What does he know? I do know that you should go down below to the description and click some links. There's a whole bunch of things down there for you to check out. There's vlogs from the past. Those are the things I'd really like you to go check out. See what I was doing a year ago and two years ago. I watched them myself today actually. I was still living in the house trailer uh, back in Ildeshane where I used to live. And uh, I just had Diesel then. I remember that I had the big beard. Oh, it was a pretty good vlog. I actually watched the whole thing through. Man, it was, it was kind of nice going back on memory lane. But yeah, if you guys want to, they're down below there for you. I went through the extra effort of finding those links for you to put them down there. It's up to you. Also, all kinds of other stuff. You'll see. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, the Trucker Jar store. All kinds of stuff down there. Go check it out. I'll see you tomorrow.